Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. Now, we're here to follow up on an experiment that I started about a month ago and uh, it was a plant experiment and uh, the three plants that we can see, each one was growing under a different type of light. This one was growing under a compact fluorescent light. This one was growing under an LED light and this one was growing under a high pressure sodium street light. And I got the results a little bit sooner than what I expected for a rather unexpected reason. And if you look at the plants, the plants look identical. And that's because the plants were only grown for just over two weeks under the lighting that we've just looked at. And the reason why the experiment was stopped was because what I hadn't planned on was that the plants didn't show any illness, but I did. So that was uh, quite a shock. And uh, the illness that I showed was pretty extensive. It was, it was quite horrible, to be honest with you. And uh, these three lighting products appeared to induce extreme fatigue into my body and uh, headaches and just general lethargic behavior, you know, I mean, I guess it would probably a lot of people would say it would be depression. And uh, I was quite surprised that these three lighting products could do that to me. And uh, the interesting thing was when I turned off the experiment, I realized I was getting really, really sick the longer that this experiment was running. I turned all the lighting products off. And then within a day, I started going through withdrawal and it was withdrawal from these lighting products. So there's something about these lighting products that causes uh, the body to get quite toxic to the point where you can actually go through withdrawal from them, which I, I found to be quite interesting. And uh, the withdrawal was, was basically just general aches and pains in the body. That Some of them are quite severe. And it was throughout my entire body and uh, followed by a headache. And the headache was a pretty nasty headache that wouldn't respond to any medication. It actually lasted a few days. And uh, the other thing that happened was I got like really bad insomnia. And uh, I, I was quite shocked that these lighting products could do that to my body. Because if you look at them, they're, they're actually quite small. I mean, this is about one of the smallest street lights you can buy. It's a 70 watt sodium street light. And, uh, these products only take about 10 watts. So uh, I'm very, very surprised that I got this wide range of horrible health symptoms. And uh, these lighting products were probably about, between about 30 feet and 60 feet from where I spend time in the house. So it wasn't as if I was sitting right on top of these products and getting ill. There was actually quite a bit of distance between me and the products. And uh, this matches an observation I made when I was developing the book Toxic Health that I noticed that people that I know that have died prematurely, I'm old enough now to have seen quite a few people that I know die, and uh, I'm 42 right now, and I've seen several people that I grew up with die. And uh, so I took a look at the houses when I was developing Toxic Health and the thing that I noticed is that outside every house where somebody had died prematurely, there was a street light. And uh, I call the effect street light premature death clusters for that reason, because it appears that the closer you live to a street light, the more likely it is you're going to die prematurely. And uh, it matches this, the findings of this experiment, which I thought was like great fun because I had already been researching the toxic effects on the human body of being in close proximity to streetlights. And streetlights put out a very wide range of fields around them. It's called harmonics. And uh, they also put out some very strange other fields that come from the actual generation of the light. And uh, I have a book called Toxic Light, which talks about the toxic effects of light on the human body. So, but there's one thing that all these three light bulbs do, and that is all of them, I've tested all of these products, and they all give out electrical harmonics. And what electrical harmonics does 
is it makes the, the wiring in your house start radiating radio waves. And you may develop radio wave sickness, and uh, I'm starting to believe that radio wave sickness is the foundation of depression in the human body. And uh, if you have depression symptoms, the number one thing I would uh, suggest to you is that you actually uh, detoxify your environment completely of electrical and electronic products because the more electrical and electronic products you have plugged into your home wiring system, the more likely it is that your home wiring system is going to be giving off wideband radio wave emissions. And if your home wiring system is giving off wideband radio wave emissions, it's likely you're going to get quite sick. So uh, th this, is a, this is called power quality engineering in the engineering field. And uh, I would suggest if you're sick that you take a long, hard look at what electrical products are in your environment and in particular the lighting products that you're using and uh, clean them up and uh, have an electrical power quality engineer come out and inspect your home and do some power quality tests on your home wiring system and uh, yeah, just by basically cleaning up your electrical environment may cause you to return to good health if you're sick. So there you have it. That was the finding of this experiment. It was rather unexpected but I do think it was an excellent finding and uh, I hope that you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.